Uh, you can go from words to video. Why can't you go from words to action tokens for a robot? Mm -hmm. You know, from the computer's perspective, how is it any different? And so it, it opened up this universe of opportunities and universe of problems that we can go solve. And um, uh, that, that, that gets us quite excited. It feels like we are on the cusp of this truly enormous change. When I think about the next 10 years, I, unlike the last 10 years, I know we've gone through a lot of change already, but I don't think I can predict anymore how I will be using the technology that is currently being developed. That's exactly right. I think the last 10, the reason why you, you feel that way is the last 10 years was really about the science of AI. The next 10 years, we're going to have plenty of science of AI. But the next 10 years is going to be the application science of AI, the fundamental science versus the application science. And so the, the applied research, the application side of AI now becomes, how can I apply AI to digital biology? How can I apply AI to climate technology? How can I apply AI to agriculture, the fishery, to robotics, to transportation, um, optimizing logistics? How can I apply AI to, you know, teaching? How do I apply AI to, you know, podcasting, right? And so. I'd love to choose a couple of those to help people see how this fundamental change in computing that we've been talking about is actually going to change their experience of their lives, how they're actually going to use technology that is based on everything we just talked about. One of the things that I've now heard you talk a lot about and I have a particular interest in is physical AI, or in other words, robots. My friends. Meaning humanoid robots, but also robots like self-driving cars and smart buildings or autonomous warehouses or autonomous lawnmowers or more. From what I understand, we might be about to see a huge leap in what all of these robots are capable of because we're changing how we train them. 